are there any life prolonging techniques that actually work today? There is one, and it's called calorie restriction. This is yeast. Aubrey told me that if you feed yeast cells less, they live longer. So do nematode worms, brute flies, and even rodents. It seems that semi-starvation extends lifespan. Back in the 80s, Professor Roy Walford showed what calorie restriction could do for mice. This particular mouse is 48 months old. That's longer than any mouse ever lives who is not on a restricted diet. This one has been restricted since about 12 months of age. Normally, mice never live longer than 36 months. This means that the aging process has indeed been retarded by this kind of procedure. One can slow down aging. This is equivalent in human terms to increasing maximum lifespan from the present level of about 110 years, the longest anybody ever lives, to 150 to 180 years. Professor Walford practiced what he preached, and he wrote a bestseller called The 120-Year Diet. Sadly, he didn't get past 80. He died in 2004 of motor neurone disease. Aubrey himself doesn't go in for calorie restriction. Beer works well for me. Some people, you know, they shouldn't drink too much. I have the right genes for beer. Um, and drinking beer in the morning is, does me no harm at all. Um, and it's only, what is it now, it's 10 to 10 in the morning. And this is my third pint of the day. And that's fine for me. Aubrey told me about an important life extension experiment in Madison, Wisconsin, where scientists are spending millions of dollars trying to find out what calorie restriction does to primates. 18 years ago, they divided 76 young rhesus monkeys into two groups and locked them up for life. Hopefully, the results will make this worthwhile. The monkeys in one group eat a normal diet, the others are fed 30% less. This monkey here is from our restricted group, he's about 25 years old. And the other monkey is from our control group and he's about 26 years old. You can see the restricted animal is much thinner, his coat looks really nice, he just has a younger looking appearance compared to the control animal, his coat is a little scraggly, he's obviously heavier, he's got a, <laughs> he just looks less healthy and older than the restricted animal. The Madison monkeys are in late middle age now, and the calorie restricted group show none of the signs of old age, like diabetes, that are common in the control group. But it'll be another 10 years or more before they start dying off and the scientists will know for sure if calorie restriction really can extend monkey lifespan. I was intrigued to learn that some human beings are so keen to live forever that they've turned themselves into calorie restriction guinea pigs, hoping they'll still be around when Aubrey's new technologies start to arrive. Hello. Hello. I'd been invited to a calorie restricted supper by April Smith and her boyfriend, Michael Ray. Oh, you don't treat cans, do you? I don't normally, but it's all good. Right. Michael eats about half of what a normal man eats. I am measuring 193 grams of scallops for each of the gentlemen. Yep. 193 grams? Yep. That sounds See? a rather precise go. figure. We are very precise. Can you just give me some idea about the total calorie value of what we're going to have? Easily. Um, he is having 639 calories. Of which, and if you, would you like to come see my software? This is computer software on which I do the nutrition. Which 29% is protein, 31% is fat, and 40% is carbohydrates. 639. I'm just up to, just over 1,900 calories now, so that's a little over a third. And what do most people get through? A man? Twice. Yeah, Twice. well, 2,500 calories would be what they should eat. Just tell me something, are you quite fit? Um, well, I have acceptable 
sort of cardiovascular performance, and uh, I have a sort of high strength to weight ratio, as it were, but obviously I'm not bench pressing 300 pounds. He can lift me easily and carry me around as long as necessary. Which is the most important thing. That's really all that matters. Don't calorie restrict my wine. I am measuring it, but you're going to have four ounces each of this lovely, perfect. Um, can we have one tablespoon, please, of the chipotle salsa? So you're having the nuts? Yes, I have lower calorie needs. I'm having 10 grams of almonds, which is approximately 60 calories. And almonds are another very good fat source. Michael and April have been living like this for three years now. Few people who try it manage more than a few months. It's just too hard. And there are side effects too, like lowered libido. Libido just means interest in and orientation towards sex. It's your sex drive. And certainly mine is lower than it was prior to going on CR. But there's other aspects of sex in terms of, uh, for instance, your sexual potency that either are not affected by CR or, you know, not to brag, but seem to actually be enhanced. There seems to be an enhancement of staying power. You know, you'd really need to live longer to have time for all the sex you would have to have. If you're around the same person for 250 years and they're still as young and vigorous, their hair still has all its color, their skin is still tight and clean, uh, again, like, you know, it just seems like life would just keep getting better and better.